I totally forgot about my poetry books. Oh, Max! Say hi! Oh, you're biting me. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be organizing my entire book collection. I feel so empty without my bookshelves in my room. This is what we're working with today. I do have another shelf to put right here. I'm kind of impatient, so this is what we're working with for now. I think I have enough space for my books that I currently have but in the future, maybe like next week or so I'll have another shelf like right here but I have no idea where to start Okay, so this is what we're working with right now I have three totes and a duffel bag stuffed with books Um, yeah So I think what I'm gonna do first is take all the books out and lay them on the ground it'll be a lot easier for me to do that because i do want to organize them by genre and author i do want to have one section maybe this shelf right here i will put all the books that i haven't read yet because i keep thinking that i don't have anything to read because everything is like mixed in. i'm not going to do that with the series though because i kind of want to keep the series together the only series that i have that's complete and I haven't finished reading the entire series yet is the Addicted series so I'm gonna keep that together because I know that I haven't read that yet and everything else would just be on this bottom shelf let's get started I'm gonna take everything out of these totes and separate them on the floor Okay, so I'm kind of just taking them out and I'll stack like the series on top of each other. I might not be able to leave my room for a little while, so... Okay, so we've got one tote all cleaned out. I felt like that wasn't a lot. Just like looking at all my books, I feel like this is not a lot and I have so much room. So it's kind of motivating me to buy more books. Okay, I take it all back. I officially have way too many books. I'm exhausted already and I still have one more tote to go, so, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is it. This is every single one of my books, except for the one that I'm currently reading, but <sighs> I can't. For this top shelf, I'm going to put my Addicted series. So I think I'm going to add another series up here. I think I'm going to do the Twisted series. Okay, I still have more space. Now I'm going to add like my journals and stuff. These two journals. And then I have this one. So that's the first shelf. I actually just like how they have the same like height any like other contemporary series all I keep this entire shelf or like case is going to be contemporary books and then the other shelf that I'll put up here will have fantasy and YA most of my fantasy books are YA this is my off campus series I'm going to put this down here This third shelf, I'll do my rom-com books. Maybe I'll combine like my Taylor Reed and Colleen Hoover because it's kind of like the similar vibe and I don't really have much books from those two authors so maybe I'll do like, do like that separately. Um, yeah, so for my rom-coms, I'm going to organize them by author. Okay, so I'm definitely going to need another shelf for rom-coms because I still have more. 
but I kind of organized them by author. I have Christina Lauren, Emily Henry, Lynn Painter, which is like one of my current favorite authors at the moment. Her books are just super hilarious. Elena Armas, literally best slow burn book ever. Tessa Bailey, wasn't really a fan of this mini series. Then I just have like single novels from like other authors okay so the fourth shelf i'm gonna do colleen hoover and taylor reed okay so these are all my colleen books honestly not a lot and i'm just gonna organize them in no particular order i actually haven't read verity yet so i don't know if i want to put it in my tbr if i leave it in here I'll forget about it and I'll never get to do that reading vlog. And then we have Taylor Reed. I think I only have three books by her. Honestly, I feel like I'm missing some books because where is my seventh husband of Evelyn Hugo? I have no idea what that is. Okay, I am definitely missing books because, oh, here it is. I'm not missing books. Okay. So, we have Colleen and Taylor Reed. I feel like I have these two books. They both died at the end in The Song of Achilles. These are like very sad books. I totally forgot I have this book. And this book is way too big for this shelf, so I'm depressed. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I really wanted to put this here. I think I'm just gonna do something like this. Okay, I totally forgot that I had the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. So I'm gonna put it up here. Okay, so I have like extra random little rom-com and then this dark romance. And these are just like random little books from Lukoff with Love. Then we have Cruel Summer, it's like a little YA summer novel. Love Maybe is also another YA summer novel, and then Clutch. So I think I'm just gonna put these on here. On the bottom, I'll just put like random books that I've read that's just not aesthetically pleasing. Let's work on my TBR first because I have a lot. Okay, I'm not even gonna organize the TBR in any specific order because I really don't have time for that. A Verity, I have Where the Crawdad Sings. The writing style is very different from what I normally would read and it's just like not clicking to me. The Idiot, which I have been reading this book for a month. We have Hideaway by Penelope Douglas. Okay, we have Hush Hush, The Last Song, Crazy Rich Asians. We have The Vampire Diaries, oh my gosh, you guys. I have these two fantasy books, Blossom and Winter series. Okay, then I have The Valkyrie's Daughter, my Jane Austen novels. We have Beautiful Ruins and Mr. Darcy's Diary. We have Alyssa Day and Abigail Owen. Why does Abigail Owen sound so familiar? Oh, and I also have a scoundrel of her own. These were all sent to me by Entangled Teen. And I think I've had these for a little while. No, seriously. Why does Abigail Owen sound so familiar? Can I read something by her recently? I feel like I did, but I can't quite... Yeah, so these are those three books. I probably would not read them. Cricket Kingdom because I could not get into this book. I, It took me an entire year. An entire year to finish Six of Crows. The language and the writing is just... I think it's just way too intelligent for me. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, so I have the selection series. I've only read the first three books. Okay, I got like these religious books. Okay, so I wanted to put like these girly books with my fashion books. So this should go in my TBR. These two books, I think I could put them down here. Abigail Owen. I knew her name sound so familiar. I had just finished this book last month. This book was so good. Honestly, the plot of this book was so interesting and it kept me hooked. Like, I could not stop reading this book. And I think there's going to be a second book, so I am super excited for that. I got the first book in the Zodiac Academy. Okay, so next part is, since I don't want to put anything on this bottom shelf, on this bottom shelf, I'm going to put all my dark romance. I'm going to take this out because... 
this would be considered dark romance so I'm gonna put it all down here okay so I don't have too many dark romance book I just have this one I have corrupt which I've only read would corrupt even be considered a dark romance though like I don't even know I didn't even like the first book don't even get me started with corrupt then I have the maid series which I rather have these on the bottom of my shelf so and then I think that's it for dark romance Scarlet Lantern sent me a bunch of sports romance and steamy romance so these three books are the hard to series and I've actually read them all so since the covers are like matte and they kind of match these other books I'm gonna keep them down here random sports romance book as well I don't know why I have this book why I bought this book I can't even remember if I read this series or this book at all I don't even think I have the first book this was sent to me, so I'm not sure. So no, I do not have the other book. I totally forgot about the Inheritance Game series, and I just ordered the third book. I'm so excited. I really hope it doesn't disappoint. So I'm gonna put this here because this is YA, and then this is YA as well. Okay, so this is all that I have left. So I have a bunch of YA books here. And I have my new adult fantasy, like my Akatar books. I have a bunch of self-help books. Once I do have my other shelf, I'm definitely going to put all of my self-help books on top. And then I'm going to do all of my YA series, like my favorite YA series, my fantasy YA series. I also have the Shatter Me series that I want to put on its own shelf. I think it'll fit perfectly because it's a lot of books. But I think one shelf will be dedicated to my Shatter Me series because that's like a 10 book series as well. Okay, I'm going to just put all of my self-help books here that I have not read yet. So that one, How to Win Friends and Influence Others. I actually started this, but I never finished it. Um, that one, I finished this one. I just don't know where to put it. We have Attached and How to Be Yourself. What would Audrey do? I don't think I ever finished this book. I kind of need to finish this book because I love Audrey. She will be there. I also have another Audrey Hepburn book. This book got so destroyed. Like it is, the pages are falling out. Then we have like these fashion books, which honestly I bought them just for decoration. Famous Dior book. Then I bought this little like copy table book. It's a little Chanel book. My two self-help books. The Motionary. This book is actually so cute. My giant Audrey Hepburn book. This book is like a portfolio of all of her iconic moments, like her best portrait. This was a gift and oh my gosh, it is the greatest thing I could have ever received. Um, I'm just gonna keep this here like that. These two books I read, Never Get Angry and 100 Days. I'm gonna put these up here on this shelf okay so i think underneath this last shelf i'm going to put like my single novels this is all that i have left and i was sitting on that pillow most of these are going to go on like the first two shelves up there okay so i have all of my entangled teens novels so I'm going to put them there. I think I'm just going to put my selection series down here for now. The only two books I have right now for the Shatter Me series is the first book and the last novella because my friend has the other 500 books. Six of Crows. My Rubber Bell series. This was the series that got me into reading. Hex Hall series. Okay, I officially have no room. I thought I was going to have a lot more room. And that extra shelf is going to be just for like random little things. But now I have to come back over here. These, I'll probably eventually move these books because I don't want fantasy 
to be over here. So since I have no room, um, I'm just gonna put them here. Cruel Prince series from Blood and Ash series, Crescent City. The last shelf, I'm gonna do my Crave series and my Akatar series. There are still books on my bed and I have, I don't really have the room for it right now. One of my favorite fantasy series, Tell me how I forgot about my poetry books. I don't know where to put these. I should put them up here instead of these journals. I guess I'll show you what I have as for poetry if you're interested. I have the storybook series, two poetry books by Ruby. I love her. Then I have these two little ones. So The Chaos of Longing, Please Love Me at My Worst. I had just finished reading this one. Super relatable. And I'm also reading the Lily Bringhardt swimming lessons one, like currently, so it's on my nightstand. Okay, this is my final bookshelf. I ended up putting like a random box there because it looks so weird with a huge space. But this is it. So the top shelf, we have my Addicted series, Twisted series, and my poetry collection. Second shelf, I have my Off Campus series, Briar U series, the Summer I Turn Pretty series, the Inheritance Game, the Dirty Air series, and the Dreamland Billionaire series. Third shelf, I have all rom coms, and they're organized by author. I have my Colleen Hoover, I have random little rom coms and little cute girly books, and then my Taylor Reed books. And then down here, I just have like dark romance, random romance, like sports romance, I guess. Cruel Prince, Blood and Ash, Crescent City. Down here I have my Crave series. I have my Akatar series, Random Journals. These two shelves over here are my TBR. And then down here I just have like some YA books. And these are actually ARCs that I received, which are advanced reading copies. So they send you books to read and review before it actually comes out. Then we have my selection series, and then my Shatter Me series, which, uh, oh yes, I do have my Shatter Me series, which I'll probably put up here. So, there's that. And my Rachel Hawkins books, so I have Rebel Bell series and Hexall series. And that is my complete book collection! I seriously hope you guys enjoyed this video and had fun watching me organize my entire book collection. I'm seriously exhausted, this actually took me like two hours to do, and I might end up changing like the whole setup of these books sooner or later because when I don't have anything to do, I literally just organize my books. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched this entire video, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!